Master Mode 3-3, that is correct. We got a three-star guide for you here today with this team, but we're gonna break it all down for you in today's episode. Thank you for tuning in. As always, down below, you'll find the timestamps where we will walk through the strategy objective of this particular cookie run. As always here in Master Mode 3-3, We'll go for the run and we'll pull it all back together as we always do. Thank you for tuning in. And if you have a question or comment throughout today, do let me know and feel free feel free to swing by the Discord server. All right, so here's what we got going on. Master mode three, three. Super excited about this one here. Taking a little bit of tweaking, um, but we have the right team and the right cookie crew in order to get through three, three glittering brown sugar valley. So a couple of the key pieces here, first off and foremost, as always, before we get to the enemies, um, we do have a cap here for special conditions. Everything's pretty much capped at level 65, max cookie grade there as well. Um, costume sets, all that fun stuff. Now we do have summon creatures lifetime decrease by 50%. We also have enemies max HP increase, all enemies HP increase by 200%. Enemies debuff resist increased. Additionally, HP shield capacity decreased and lastly healing decreased. So we have to figure out the right mix of damage for this particular run, the right mix of survivability, healing, and all those things. Now, in the Master Mode episodes, we do get kind of a big boss at the end. We'll talk about this here in a second. But these are all the waves you'll face. Dire Waffle, Lizard, Cream Eagle, Cream Lynx, Cactus Worm. Additionally here, Greater Spactus, which is a funny one, and Berry Tail here. Now, this boss, Dire Berry Tail Chaco Scorpion, puts out a ton of damage. And as soon as one of your guys gets picked off, everything is open, fair game. So surviving all these waves, because there's a ton of waves in this run getting to the boss and being able to take this thing down is absolutely key for overcoming this run on top of that we got a lot going on in order for our team to be successful and achieve so here's what we have that's gotten us through so we got our our friend right here dark cacao additionally frost queen um our friend sherbet pure vanilla and a new friend here snapdragon cookie now the idea here is really to have two healers one aoe damage dealer one single target and then on the front end survivability is key i found between hollyberry and everyone else um, dark cacao actually was the right mix for my particular team in order to overcome this his ability to hit um, and do his ultimate stuff here with solemn judgment makes a big deal enough to kind of really hurt your opponents um, and really help optimize your team here for the run um, as you can see we're at 676k versus about 500k so we do have a little bit higher power level which is always good and then in terms of treasures here this is what we have we're on our old pilgrim scroll we have squishy jelly watch and dream conductor's whistle more focused on attack um, in this particular one and dealing damage to ultimately plow down um, each of the waves quickly and the last wave there now in terms of top here is what we're running we do have our five solid almonds there for dark cacao we're actually on instead of damage um, we're on our uh, Chaco chipset here for being able to cast this more, particularly for that last boss. Um, we're on damage here, though, for Frost Queen. Additionally, um, uh, dark Chaco chipsets here um, for PV for cooldown and also cooldown for Snapdragon. So we want to keep those heals going, the buffs, all those things going, the debuffs going, and then additionally survivability, damage at the right level, and continuing to up on the end um, with Sherbet. So that is the strategy objective of this particular run. It does take a little bit um, because there are so many waves and you can time out. I've had that happen before. This has been the right mix for us to achieve. Let's go ahead and take down our master mode 3-3 run here. Again, you can see all this stuff here um, holding your team back, upping your opponents on your runs. There's our cactus. I love that one. As you can see, these things take a lot. Now, I recommend too, even though we can do this on auto, making sure that when the right thing happens, um, before you get to the end boss, or as you kind of continue between waves, make sure that you just do keep your healing on because that's gonna be important. You wanna keep these guys at max, like right now. There we go, before we get to the next one. Get an additional one in there. Can help you 
um, with some of that survivability here with these different mobs. Having Dark Cacao being at full life at the end is going to be huge. Again, getting all these stacks on as well. Alright, as you can see, there's a lot to this one. So just getting to the end in and of itself is its own journey. Alright, here we go. Last boss. We need to keep the output high, the damage high. As you can see, he start, he's going to start losing a lot of health here. Keeping him alive, removing a lot of these baddies. That luck is not there for us today. Bummer. We can certainly try again here to show you how you're going to overcome this. Um, we can take it down. Boom. There it is. We got it. So... A one-star team, certainly a three-star team, as we saw at the beginning of the episode. We'll run it one more time for you here, because sometimes, as I like to say, you might not get it every time. Um, and part of that problem there on every time is this, because we got one run available left to us here, is that it can be a little bit of luck. Um, you've seen that in some of the other guides that we've talked about as well. This team, like I said, can get you through it. The difference between that three-star run and the last run that we saw here was the damage actually was a little bit more spread out um, when we got to that boss relative to when we did this time. It was more focused on Dark Cacao, which can create a problem, um, as you can see, on how fast he was burned down there. All right, let's keep the heal up. There we go, in between. Timing is of the essence. There we go. Need to keep the heels up and high. There we go. Get the heel on. Shield on. There we go. Into the boss mode we go. Making sure we can get some of the stun on. It's going to be big right there. Big heals. We need to get our freeze off and the damage off this guy. There we go. Oh, one touch too late. This time we got through with four. It was one too late, unfortunately for us there, to take it down. All right, so that concludes our runs here for today. However, again, like I said, this team will get you to three stars as we showed at the beginning. Just a little bit of bad luck um, there. It got better though, but just a little bit. So I highly encourage you to run with this if your power level's close. Unfortunately, we won't go back in there because we're locked out there for now, um, but this team will get you through. So ultimately, 3-3 Glittering Brown Sugar Valley, three-star guide for you, um, the team to get you through and ultimately be successful um, between Dark Cacao all the way to our new friend Snapdragon Cookie. We talked about the level, the run, some of the strategy and things that you can use um, in order to get through, some of the swaps on the treasures that you can absolutely use as well in terms of um, one of the fun ones is boosting the life. Um, also, you can go more defensive and survivability that way. Um, you can tweak the, uh, the toppings to more damage versus survivability or on top of that, um, our lovely, lovely chocolate chip sets to reduce cast time, those things. So thank you for tuning in. As always, questions or comments, let me know. I just want to say thank you. As always, appreciate your support. Um, thank you for the likes and the subs. Uh, we'll see you soon. We got a ton of great Cookie Run Kingdom content here available to you on the channel and more coming your way. Until next time, we'll see you again. Mithras, out of here.